Hello, Eagle Creek members. First of all, I'd like to thank you for participating in the Q&A sessions that we've had over the past couple of weeks. Lillian Calvecchio and I are here today to answer some of the more asked questions. Okay, thank you, Mike. Those of you out there have never done a YouTube, this isn't as easy as it looks. So I'm going to do my best. Um, I'm really going to address three um, issues that seem to be coming up a lot in the question and answer session. The first is about the decor of the clubhouse. I want to remind you that the uh, renderings that are out there are just that, renderings. There have been no decisions made as to what the fixtures are going to be, what the colors are going to be. None of those decisions have been made. We have listened to you. We heard loud and clear that you didn't want a white leather bar and you don't want white leather in the ladies' locker room. Um, so the decor committee will be working with Wegman Designs to um, take your thoughts and come up with uh, picture boards um, that will be more reflective of what you want. The second issue that seemed to come up a lot was why did the board bundle the greens issue with the um, club renovation? Let me just give you a little bit of history. Uh, we do have a master uh, improvement plan here and um, the clubhouse has been on that plan for the last two years. We've been looking at it, we've been visiting other clubs, we've been doing everything that we could to study that issue. And our plan was to bring it to you with a $7 million price tag. Uh, then we learned um, the greens were scheduled to be repaired in 2023. As it turns out, the greens are not going to last that long. So we had to push that project up and it was going to happen in 2021 as well. So it made sense to us to bundle them together and maybe for two primary reasons. One is um, we as board members are your fiduciary agents and we take very seriously our responsibility to oversee the finances of this club. By pulling the two projects in together, um, we were able to get a financing deal that looks very promising for us. Kurt Holloway has spoken to uh, three banks, and it looks like the interest rates that we might be able to get are in the 3 to 4% range, which is terrific. The second reason we wanted to do the two projects together is that if we're going to close the golf course, for six to seven months. Why not take advantage and do the clubhouse at the same time? And it would be far less inconvenient for our members to have both projects done at the same time and completed. Lastly, we had several questions with regard to why we we're allowing social members to vote on golf matters. It is the view of your board of directors that the improvements on the golf course are in community improvements. They're not just for golfers. And certainly those improvements matter to our social members and their real estate values here. So it seemed fair that they should be able to vote on this as well. And um, you, I will remind you that um, when it comes time for the assessment, only the golfers are paying for the golf course repairs because the golfers actually use the golf course. And now I'll turn it back to Mike. Thank you, Lillian. I want to thank everybody for watching this video and hopefully we've answered some of your questions. And I also want to let everybody know that we're doing everything possible to keep your vote confidential. If you haven't voted, there's proxies in the lobby. And if you want to come to the March 17th vote, 2 o'clock, and cast your ballot. Thank you.